Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a little video for the Rick Fix. Uh, he posted a video the other day saying you want to put a chrome timing chain cover on. His original one's got the timing pointer there. His new one, the pointer's over here. The way I find the new top dead, I'll show you how to do that in a second, but I'll use the uh, engine for three, uh, the 350 Chevy for orange peel. And I put a new harmonic balancer on this motor because the other one was pretty crummy. And I got it, you know, zeroed out right now. This was the original groove and uh, dampener. And as you can see, we're nowhere near top dead. So this particular harmonic balancer, if the pointer was over here, it probably would be right. I ain't using that, so I'm going to use this one. So I need to readjust this one anyways. So what I'm going to do here real quick is put a head on. And I'll show you how I find top dead. If you had the head off, you could use this method. I just took a washer, crimped it over a little bit, and you just bolt it on here, and it'll stop the piston. And I'll show you what the significance is of stopping the piston. But I'll put the head on so we can simulate what you got there, Rick. So just hang on there. All right, the one thing you will have to make to make this happen, just take an old junk spark plug, break the porcelain out, cut the prong off, and you want to drill and tap it out. I used a 3 8 rod, but whatever you got laying around, and I drilled and tapped it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then uh, you want to make yourself up a little hunk of rod here. And then take and, you know, smooth off that corner really nice and smooth so it doesn't have any sharp edges. And then it goes in the engine. So, number one piston on a small block Chevy is always going to be the driver's side front. So what I'll do is I'll thread in my spark plug adapter. like so. Doesn't have to be super tight, just, you know, just the bottoms out. And then you want to put the uh, threaded rod in, and that determines <clears throat> where it's going to stop the piston at. And let's see here, usually, this is kind of a guessing game. We'll try there one, see if it'll hit the piston there. Let me come over here and we just kind of roll it a little bit more. There, and it stopped right there. So you don't want to get crazy pushing on it. All right, where did I put my marker? Gosh darn it, I was supposed to be all... Oh, here it is. It's in my pocket. So, <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll make, where zero is, I'll make a mark to give me an in indication where we're at. That's not top dead, that's just a mark. Now I'll rotate the engine the other way. And when you know you're getting close to it, you know, kind of slow down. You don't want to jam your piston. All right, she stopped right there. So I'll make a mark there at the zero mark. All right. So these are my two marks. Next thing you want to do is take a tape measure. You want to measure this out. And it's going to be really hard with one hand to do this, but you measure these two marks out, get your dimension, divide that in half, put your little line there, draw your line, that'll be true top dead. Or, you know, what's in a couple thousands. <clears throat> Since this isn't a race motor, and you don't have a race motor, it'll get you more than close enough to where you want to be. So what I'll do is I'll measure this out, I'll draw my line, and now I'll have my true top dead center, even though I won't do that just yet because I know this head isn't tight, and I'm sure it isn't real close, but it's probably close enough for me. But that's how you find it. And then to make your mark, 
you can do a one a couple things. I've done just take a uh, pin punch and you right where you find your center here, put a pin dimple. I've even taken a hacksaw blade and just kind of scored it so you know where your new line is. And you want to make some kind of indication on the old line that you don't use it. Because this is my old one down here and I know this one ain't going to work for me. So I'll make a new line and then I'll know off my timing pointer that this will be top dead, which is zero. And then when I take my timing light, I still get my degrees here, even though I got a, a turn back timing light so I can set my timing that way. <coughs> And that's how it's done. I mean, it, it's really simple. And uh, then you can put your chrome timing chain cover on. Your pointer will be down here. You'll reset top dead, and you'll be good and go. So that's it. Pretty simple. And if, if you got questions, Rick, you know how to get a hold of me. But uh, that should pretty much take care of it. And don't forget to take your little tool out before you, you know, <laughs> try cranking it over or something. And that's it. So, talk to you guys later. So I went and measured it out. So I measured between my two lines here and divided it, and that's my center point. So technically that should be my top dead center mark. And like I said, you, you're going to want to mark that so it doesn't disappear on you. Uh, like I said before, you can either, you know, take a center punch, put a dimple in it, or in a draw, you know, a black line, or if you paint your engine orange, black line, if you paint your engine black, you know, put a yellow line. Something that you can see, they'll stand out with the timing light. If you have a, uh, I mean, I just got an El Cheapo stock one, harmonic balancer. If you're running a uh, performance balancer, or, you know, a viscous one, or fluid dampener, don't put a dimple in it. Don't, don't, you know, <laughs> don't do nothing to it. Usually they have timing marks on them, and you can kind of go off of that. Or you just get the timing tape, you put the timing tape on it for the uh, correct dampener. But uh, <clears throat> on these El Cheapo ones, like I said, I usually just take a hacksaw blade and I'll just score it a little bit. I mean, it's good enough for that. And that'll keep you going. Just remember not to use the, the other mark because that'll really throw you off. <laughs>